I'm gonna start with sage sausage, about a pound of sausage. This is a casserole. Everybody in the South has a breakfast casserole. You could put bacon in there if you want. Really, it's up to you. About a half a loaf of just plain regular white bread. And this is one of those cases where if your bread is a little bit older, like it's not just super, super fresh, it'll slice a lot easier. And I'm just gonna cube this bread up. So I'm putting this all in a big nine by 13 pan that I have sprayed with cooking spray. And this is gonna be the bottom layer of the casserole. See how easy? So then you're just gonna press this in the bottom of the pan, like so. Done. Keep cooking your sausage meanwhile, just breaking it up. And you just really wanna cook the sausage until it's completely done. You don't want any pink in the sausage. Gotta have eggs. Five large eggs just whisk together. And I'm making this ahead of time because it is something that you should chill in the refrigerator. And if I was making this actually for breakfast, I would make this the night before and put it in the fridge overnight for about eight hours. So this is the first thing, and I'm just gonna stick this in the fridge and let it chill for as long as it can before we bake it later. I'm gonna add some half and half to that and some salt and some dry yellow mustard. So get my half and half out of the fridge. Cheese. And when I grate cheese, I just grate a bunch of cheese. And I'm gonna use all this today, but not all of this in this recipe. About two cups of half and half. And you can measure this exactly, or you can eyeball it. I make this casserole so much that I just eyeball it. That's about two cups. Nice and creamy. A pinch of salt. There's gonna be a good amount of salt in the sausage, so you don't need to over salt. And dry yellow mustard. Now this is what my dad used to always put in this casserole. It adds a little bit of a tang, but I have made this before and either forgot the mustard or didn't have any, and it doesn't make that much difference. So if you don't have it, don't worry about it. Not a big deal. Whisk all that together. Oh, the sausage smells so good and it's ready. Fully cooked. Donna's gonna be so excited that we're having this. You can slot out any extra grease that might be in the sausage, and we're just gonna add that on top of this layer. My dad used to always make this and have grits on the side. That's a very Southern thing. I won't make Donna eat grits today. <laughs> She's an Okie, I don't think she could handle it. About 10 ounces of grated cheddar cheese. It's about half this bag. I, I grated extra today, because we're gonna use some later when Donna and I make hash brown casserole. Yeah, two casseroles, it's happening. Put about half this cheese on the top. And the egg mixture. You just pour this over the top. As it bakes, the eggs sort of rise up around the rest of the ingredients and really just make it fluffy and pretty. This is basically gonna turn into like fancy redneck quiche. It's gonna be really, really good. All you do is cover it with foil and put it in the fridge for eight hours or overnight if you're gonna actually eat it for breakfast, which we're not. We're gonna eat it for dinner. I was busy this morning while you were sleeping in. <laughs> she, yeah, okay. I was making breakfast sausage casserole. I'll give you a little tiny peek at it. Oh, it's been, that looks great. It's been sitting for several hours. And if you did this for really for breakfast, you would make this the night before and let it sit in your fridge overnight. So then in the morning, you just pop it in the oven and you got breakfast. Pretty fantastic. This is the breakfast sausage casserole. Would you like to reveal how beautiful it is? I would love to reveal it is? how beautiful. Oh, it looks good. It has to sit for about 15 minutes just to let everything kind of gel together and cool off enough so that you can actually eat it. It really is a good hearty supper. It's got sausage and cheese and eggs and bread. Donna's gonna love it.